70 million soldiers participated, more than 20 million were injured and more than 10 million died in World War I. The 20th century's first total war also saw the collapse of the Russian, Austro-Hungarian, German and Ottoman empires. The spark came on June 28, 1914 when a student in Sarajevo assassinated the future heir of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, provoking the great powers into a tug of war. On August the 3rd, the world was pushed into an unprecedented international conflict. France suffered its deadliest day on August the 22nd during the Battle of the Frontiers when 27,000 died. The German offensive caught Britain and France on the back foot before they mounted a counter-attack in September during the Battle of the Marne. But over the next three years, the Western Front remained virtually unchanged along the line from Switzerland to the North Sea, despite a number of offences in Verdun and the Somme. In 1915, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill launched the Dardanelles campaign against the Ottoman Empire in a bid to secure a sea link to Russia, but the bloody offensive ended in a failure. The power struggle only shifted in April 1917 when the United States entered the conflict against Germany. But at the same time, the Bolshevik Revolution was gaining momentum, leading to the breakup of the Russian Empire. The strategies of maneuver warfare intensified in 1918 as Germany raised the stakes, launching several offensives in the spring, none of which were conclusive. The US-backed Allies took the upper hand in the summer, pushing back an ailing, exhausted German army. The Allied victory came on the 11th of November 1918. Germany signed an armistice, which effectively confirmed its defeat. This was finalized and formalized in the Versailles Treaty on the 28th of June 1919, which sowed the seeds for the Second World War.